are you gonna focus? Okay, there we go. <laughs> hey guys, it's me, Jillian. No, that was not, no, no, okay, let's go. Hey guys, it's me, Jillian, and today I'm doing my favorites and what I got in my Ipsy bag for the month of January. Crap. Yes, January. Oh my god. <laughs> So let's just head on into the video. There's nothing really else to say, so let's just start off with my Ipsy bag. Okay, so this is the Ipsy bag of this month. It is so cute, and I actually am a really big fan of it. I just think it's really, like, funky and cool, so yeah. But yeah, this is the bag. It looks a lot sort of like a pop art design it has on it. Then on the back, it's just a solid blue color, and then the zipper is yellow, so it's really colorful and funky looking, and I really like it. It's really different from all of the other bags. I feel like they're just a lot more plain. Um, those are them right up there, you guys can see. There's not a lot of more funky ones. I guess the Galaxy one was more funky, but this is like a lot more funky. But anyways, let's just head on into what's inside of my Ipsy bag. So the first product that I'm going to show you guys in my Ipsy bag is something that I've actually been really, really enjoying, and I'm really glad that I received it this month. So this is the product, and these are just face wipe things that I've been using every single day since I received my Ipsy bag. Just kidding, not every day, but I've been using them a lot. I have not been using these every day because I don't want to waste them. Um, I want to buy some new ones, but I haven't gotten the chance to yet, so I'm trying to use them in like spread out time until I can actually get my own pack. You know, this is the product, and these are the Skin Iceland, um, Gate, Gla- what am I saying? Glacial Cleansing Cloths. So, they're just cleansing cloths, like I said, and these are the gentlest, like, cloths that you will ever use. Um, they're so gentle on your skin. If you guys watched my skincare routine, um, then you would have seen that- I had to wipe a ton of times with my face wipes that I use in order to get all of my mascara and eye makeup off, and these make it so easy. You barely even have to wipe. Like, it's like one wipe and it's all off, and then you just need to move around a little with it and get all the rest of your mascara off, but they're so gentle and it just feels so nice on your skin, and I just think they're amazing. The only issue that I really found with them was that it stings your eyes a lot if you get it in your eyes, so, um, yeah. That's something. But yeah, these are a really good product, and I think I'm going to be buying them in the future. I definitely recommend trying them. The next product that I got in my Ipsy bag I'm not too excited about. I honestly could do without it. I don't really care. Um, and it is this little product here. This is the Tucker Ashley Advanced Peptide Eye Complex. So it's just like an eye cream thing. Um, I really don't know what it's for. It's a super simple packaging. Um... It's really plain. Like, if I was shopping, this would not catch my eye. Um, I just don't really care for it. It tells you to apply it underneath and around your eyes, like, one to two times daily. Um, but it really doesn't say anything else, so I don't really know what it's supposed to do for my eyes. I applied it one day, and I didn't really see it do anything, because I don't really know what it's supposed to do anyways, but... Yeah, not a big fan. I could do without this. The next thing that I received I'm pretty excited about because this is a brush. I'll just take it out of the packaging. Alright, so as you guys can see, I already used this brush, so it's a little bit, like, got some color on the end. But it is a white brush. Let it focus here. Okay, so it's just a white brush. Looks like this. Um, it was white, now it's dark on the end because I used it, but yeah. And this is the Smudge, uh, Bow Cassius. Paris, I think that's what it's saying. Um, yeah, I take French in school, but I'm really not good at it, so I cannot read that. But yeah, something Paris, um, it's French. And this is just the smudge brush, so it's for smudging, um, blending, all that sort of stuff. And it's a really good brush, I think, and I really like it, so I got that. Um, the next product that I got I'm not really a big fan of, and this was the product that everyone received one of if you are an Ipsy subscriber. Um, you either got this color or, um, I think it was like a red wine color. But this is the Mr. Right Now, um, eyeliner pencil from the Bomb Cosmetics. But anyways, I got, oh, I just dropped it. <laughs> I got the gold color type, um, I don't know what it's called. I think it's called Jack because it says it underneath, but I think I might be wrong, so don't make fun of me if I am. But, um, yeah, this is what the product actually looks like if I twist it out. But that's what it looks like. Um, it looks a lot darker than it really is, um, but it applies really smooth because I did try it even though, um... Ooh. 
This product applies really smooth. I did try it out even though I'm not really gonna be using it. Um, maybe I will one day if I'm doing like a makeup tutorial or something special. But it applies really smoothly and I really like that about it. So if I do ever use it, I think it will be a really nice product to use. But this is not really the color for me. But this is a good product, I guess. So yeah. And then this product that I'm very happy about is my final product that I got in my bag. This is the Marsk Mineral Eyeshadow and this is the color Mud Cake. So it's a mineral eyeshadow. This is the little packaging. Um, it's a sample size. So this is the little packaging. It's super cute and simple. I really like it. I think Marsk's, um, all of their products are really simple looking like that. But it's a really cute packaging. I can't really show you guys because it's mineral eyeshadow and I will dump it everywhere. Um, but that's what it looks like. <laughs> um, I'll just swatch a little bit on my hand so you guys can see it. Okay, so that's a little swatch for you guys to see. It's a really nice shimmery, like, rose gold type color. Just come on, focus. Okay, so that's the color. It's a shimmery, like, rose gold color. Um, I'll put a little bit more on so you guys can see, like, the pigment. Um, but it's just like that. It's a really nice color. That's what it looks like on the tip of my finger. It looks super, super red. So if you put a lot, like this is super pigmented and shimmery and a lot of fallout. So you have to be super careful. It's a gorgeous color though, I have to say. Like, I love it. And I think I'm going to use it a lot in the future. But yeah, so that's the last product in my Ipsy bag. And now let's move on to my favorites. Okay, so I'm going to try and move really quick because I have a ton of favorites this month to get through. So I'm not going to explain them too much. I'm more just going to show them to you guys and tell you what my favorites were. So... <coughs> on coffee. The ones you love hurt you the most. Okay, so the first favorite that I have is this um, Colgate Optic White little whitening toothbrush and um, toothpaste set thing. Basically, it is a toothbrush and you use this special whitening toothpaste with it. And then at the bottom of the toothbrush, it just pulls out like this. And it is the Colgate um, Optic White whitening pen. So it's basically, looks like this and it's just like a gel, um, stuff that comes out, I don't know, and it's whitening, um, but it's like spiky on the end, as you guys can see, and it just whitens your teeth, so it's really cool, and I thought I would try it, I think it has been working on my teeth, but I really don't know, um, but yeah, it's a really good product, and I've been really enjoying it, if you guys would like to see a review and all that on what I think about this product, then definitely give this video a thumbs up or like it down below, because I think that would be really helpful for someone who's deciding whether to get this or not. So definitely just leave a comment or give this video a thumbs up, and I will consider making a video for that. Next product that I have been using a lot recently, I got in my December Ipsy bag, and this is the product, if you guys watched my December Ipsy bag video, then you would know that I received the Marc Anthony True Professional Hydrating Coconut Oil Shea Butter um, Conditioning Treatment. Wow, that is a mouthful. Yeah, I received this, and in that video I said that it was the best thing I've ever smelt. It Oh my god, it smells like peanut... Oh, I just sprayed it all over myself. Okay. Yeah. But it smells like pina coladas. It smells really freaking good. And, um, it's a really good deep conditioning treatment that you use, like, once a week. And I've just been really enjoying it, so... Yeah. The next product is this little guy here. If you guys know what it is, then you probably really love them too. This is just a Bath & Body Works wallflower. I know that I have it in a Christmas ornament, but the only other little wallflower plugs that I have are dragonflies, and it's January, so I chose this one. Anyways, the scent that I have in this is Cashmere Glow. I also have um, leaves and sweater weather, I'm pretty sure, but... Cashmere Glow. I've been using this one in my room, and my room smells so good now. Every time you walk in, it just smells great. So, I've been using this, and I just like it a lot better than having to light a candle and then, you know, focus on watching the candle so your house doesn't fall apart in flames. So, yeah, I've been using these. The next thing is, honestly, I spent six... The next thing is my favorite thing in the world right now. I spent $6 on this thing, and let me tell you, this is my favorite purchase that I have made in probably the past two years. So this is a beauty blender. Yes, it is a beauty blender. I am so late on this little trend here, 
but everyone's been talking about them for the longest time and I've always wanted to get one and every time I'm somewhere where I could buy one I'm like okay like let's get it and then last minute I'll be like no I'll get it next time so basically I've been waiting forever to buy one and I finally bought this purple one and this is the best thing ever it blends your makeup so well now I know why everyone made the big phase about it but yeah, I literally just got this a couple days ago and I've been loving it every single minute. So yeah, Beauty Blender, definitely get one if you do not have one already. Then the next two products that I have are sort of connected. But lately in the month of January, I've been focusing a lot on my nails and like caring for them. So I have some nail products. I went out and bought this nail polish. It's the Pure Ice brand. And it's like a lavender, really, really light lavender color. And it's so pretty and cute. Especially for like this time of the year, I feel it's not focusing. Okay, so there it is. It's a really light lavender color. It almost looks gray right now, but it's lavender. This color is called Lavendaire. So yeah, pure ice nail polish. Say that again just in case you want to get one. But it's a really good nail polish brand, and I really, really like this color. If you watched my What I Got for Christmas video, you would have seen that I received the Lemon Flutter Cuticle Butter from Lush in a Lush box that I received. And I've been... It smells so good. <laughs> um, I've been using this a lot on my cuticles to try and help my nail beds grow and just be stronger. So yeah, I've been really focusing on nail care and I think it's just making my nails much better. So yeah. Okay, and now the last little product that I have to show you guys that I am so happy. Just kidding, this is not a product. Not a product. The last favorite that I have to show you guys, I'm so happy to say that it is one of my favorites now. And this is my YouTube little notebook. Um, if you watched my New Year's resolutions video, I feel like this whole entire video is me saying, if you watch this video, if you watch that video. But if you watched my New Year's resolution video, you would have seen that one of my New Year's resolutions was to start using my YouTube notebook a lot more because I bought this and I just wanted to get more organized with YouTube. So I'm so happy to say that I have continued with that little resolution and I've been using this book a lot for every single one of my videos. As you guys can see on the first page, I have like a little subscriber count going where every single Saturday I've been writing how many subscribers I have. So I've just seen the progress and it just makes me so happy to see that I am getting subscribers. Yeah, so help me reach my goal of 200 if you're still watching this video and subscribe down below. It would mean so much to me. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe. I've been using this just to write down like what's happening in my next video. I think it makes me so much more organized. But yeah, it's just really helpful and I'm really proud that I've actually started to use this notebook. So yeah, that's my last favorite. Mm, 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 mm. Coffee is love, coffee is life. Alrighty guys, that is it for this video. I'm sorry it was so long. I just had a lot to get through this month. So yeah, um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed and if you would like to see a review on the toothbrush thingy that I showed you guys, um, you can also comment that down below. Also comment down below what kind of videos you guys would like to see in the future because I want to do videos that you guys actually want to see, not just ideas that I've come up with. And that's pretty much it. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!